guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark, and here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do it sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do hauls like this, so if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. But despite what my sweatshirt says, I am living in the Bay Area now. I actually just spilt some Duncan on the shirt I was wearing and then I kind of realized it was a little bit see-through so I threw on this sweatshirt even though it's been over 100 degrees all week. So I actually just have a little bit of a haul for you guys. I did try out a new um, thrift store that fingers crossed maybe becomes a honey hole for me. I'm not quite sure. I wouldn't say it was like the most amazing um, but I loved the prices and I loved that a lot of them were discounted like a lot of the colors they had were anywhere between like 40 and 70% off, I wanna say. And the shoes were very reasonably priced. And it was right next to Duncan, which was like the only Duncan around here. So I was really craving some Duncan today. I got my pumpkin iced coffee. And ironically, it takes donations for a cat shelter, which my last honey hole in Portland actually did the same thing, which I think is really funny. And I love supporting cats. Um, so I'll show you guys these first since they were in my thumbnail. These are just the most amazing boots. They scream like Renaissance, <laughs> Victorian. I don't know. I don't know what you would call these, but like, you know, old timey. I will be using witchy, witch Halloween as a good description for these. They do have just like a little bit of wear. They need a good wipe down. I don't think these are real leather, but I will find out. I actually was just expecting these to be kind of like an actual little bit of an older style of brand, not necessarily like a vintage piece, but like maybe like early 2000s or 90s, something like that. But they're actually Zara and I haven't looked them up, so I don't really know how old they are, but I don't think they're that old. They also have this nice round heel. I don't know if you can see it says, Zara and they're size 39 which is like an eight and a half nine. I know um, someone who would absolutely love these and that's my sister but they're not her size. Um, they do have this wear back here like a chunk came out but that's like very hard to see especially if you were wearing them and yeah they really just need a good wipe down but other than that they're in really great condition. I almost got a pair of really cute saludos today I think that's how you pronounce the brand um and they seem to be still on sale for like 140 dollars i saw someone listed a pair for 120 and i was about to buy them because they were priced well um but then i noticed that they were a size five and a half and i really need to get better about checking sizes before i buy things especially with shoes um but yeah it doesn't say anything about being made of leather so i'm gonna guess they're vegan leather but i have a feeling these will be easy to do a little google lens search and find out the lace goes all the way down to the toes look how cute <laughs> these are absolutely awesome i'm definitely gonna list these soon and these okay so the prices like i said were a little bit weird let me get my receipt out oh great <laughs> it's not itemized they do said I could return things though. They said just keep the tags on and I could return up to eight things at a time which or exchange them. I don't know. Maybe for store credit. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Um, They said, I think they said that they were $6 and everything had a color. So I think it was like yellow, pink, blue, green, and white. But this said C and I forgot to ask. But I think these were, I don't think these were on sale. I think these were $6. I don't know. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the other pair of shoes I got. These were stunning, and I couldn't believe, one, that no one had picked them up, and two, that they were priced so reasonably. I'm guessing this probably goes like that. These would be epic shoes for a Christmas party. I know they're, like, open-toed, but this would be, I feel like, fine. It doesn't have to be, like, a summer shoe, but it's, like, a macrame kind of looking there, and they're cabby. I've never sold cabbie shoes before. These are in really good condition. Besides the bottoms are a little weird. I think these also said they were $6. What size were these? I did not check what size these were, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, they're nine. Oh, they look kind of small, but I'm happy with a size nine. Again, didn't look them up. So these said 6B, so I thought blue, and blue was half off. So I don't know if these were half off, because I don't know what C means. I don't know, but... 
they're very cute. Maybe next time I go, I'll ask. These do have a tiny bit of toe wear, but ugh, these are stunning. I love this color red. I call that like a cherry red. I call that. I don't know if everyone else calls it that. Then I got, I guess what you consider a bread and butter piece for me. It's a bridesmaid's dress. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, this is not the first time you have seen me pick up this brand, but it's this really pretty, oh, uh, would you call that ruched? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maxi length bridesmaid's dress in this color, which I have sold before. Um, earlier this year, I want to say, I went to the bins in Vancouver, Washington, and I found two of these dresses, new with tags, both size 16. They were in this color, but they were different, two different styles. So I'm guessing somebody bought them, didn't know what style they wanted, donated them. I don't know, but it's the brand Azazi. And this is a very, very popular, uh, bridesmaids dress website. I think a lot of brides will be like, okay, go buy any dress in this color, whatever color you'd call this online, because they have a bunch of different dresses and like uniform colors, I guess. So you could all pick the same blue color, but you can all wear different styles. Hope that made sense. But So this is a 10. So this is a size 10 and I use a lot of the measurements from online. I once bought one that said C something I'm warning you don't buy the C something because C means custom and so it's not this whatever size it says if that makes sense and it was just such so much more of a hard sell but this is really cute it has like an open back I have no idea what these are some sort of straps I don't know what maybe it's a halter neck I don't know I'm gonna have to figure that out but I looked really closely no stains maxi length not new with tags um this was originally 13, but pink was something percent off. I don't know. Was it 20% off? It might've been 20% off. I'll never know because my receipt is not itemized. I might just have to divide however many items I have by that number. You know what? That's fine too. I know a lot of people do that. Okay. So this place, they did have a ton of Bowdoin. They had a ton of soft surroundings. They had like J. Jill, a lot of really solid like mall brands. I don't know if you call them mall brands, mid-tier brands, mature brands. I don't know. Uh, I passed on a lot of it. A lot of it was just basic tops that weren't like very exciting. Um, but I did pick up this one Bowdoin dress. It's a US size 10 regular. It was green, which was half and it was originally eight. So I'm guessing it was four. But it's like a shirt dress in this pretty maroon color. I thought this would be great for fall. Uh, it's like a midi length and it came with the belt. And it's in really good condition. A lot of the stuff there seemed to be in really good condition. So that was nice. I didn't look it up, but for $4, I was like, mm, why not <laughs> give it a go? It's just cost, costin, <laughs> cotton elastane. Um, yeah, it has pockets. It's really cute. I'm excited about that piece. There was another Bowdoin dress I almost got. It was in a good size, but the colors were kind of like red, white, and blue. Not that that's a bad thing, but it was definitely not really a fall winter piece. And that's what I'm sourcing for right now, because we all know I have plenty of summer stuff that's not going to sell. All right. So this, I think, is kind of like a divisive brand. Is that the word you'd use? Some people don't like to pick it up. I don't always pick it up, but if I think the piece is nice, I will. Uh, this is Theory. I think this is their newer tag. I only say that because it looks, you know, more modern. It says made in the U.S., which is cool. It looks like they have some style information on that, so that if that brings up something, that'd be really helpful. They're a size four, and they're just um, this really nice trouser pant, like a cigarette style pant leg. Is that what that is? My pockets which is nice I thought these would just be a really nice work pant for someone um and they're a size four which isn't too bad these were also half off so these were also four dollars originally eight cute I actually really am enjoying the prices I didn't really think too hard about them I was just like oh half off stuff let me pick up some stuff so I think blue was 70% off I want to say these were originally seven dollars so 70% off of $7 is about $4.90 off. 
So I got these for like $2. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, which I'm super happy about because I, if you guys watch some of my recent videos when I was picking up jeans, first of all, at Goodwill, they're $11 a pair. All my Goodwills around here. Nothing's like a percentage off. Um, but these are Can Can jeans and I love selling Can Can jeans because they just sell. They only might sell between 20 and 30, but they always sell and they sell fast. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of these, but they're not worth paying $11 for in my opinion. Again, cause I'm just going to get about 20 to $30 and after fees, not going to be worth it, but cute little raw hem, high rise, skinny, which, you know, not the most trendy right now, but I think people are still looking for that. Again, they have a style number. Do they have a size? Seven, seven twenty-seven. I guess they are like a junior's jean, but I'll just list them as 27 and yeah, really cute. These are in really good condition. I used to love to find these at the bins. That was always the best, but for, you know, $2, I'm happy with that as well. Now yellow wasn't any percent off. So this I spent full price on, but I really liked the way it looked. I thought it like stood out as just looking like really well made, really pretty embroidery down there at the bottom and then cute at the back. This is also like a similar maroonish color, um, but it's a brand Maeve, which is an anthropology brand. And this is Maeve by Anthropology. And just the look of it, the label, the shirt itself. I just think this is like a really new piece. Hopefully I can find the picture pretty easily. Usually even using keywords, I can. Um, this is a size 14, no, 10. 10, but it's like oversized and it's really, really nice. There's an OB number. Hmm. I know Anthropology had OB numbers. I'll see if a style comes up with that, but again, I think I'll be able to find one pretty easily. This is really, really cute. Again, good color for fall. And that was nine, I guess. If I wasn't using my phone to film, I'd use my calculator um, to better assess what I spent on things. But once I get a camera, I'll do that better. So this brand, I usually stay away from, especially if I'm like anywhere but the bins. If I'm at the bins, I'll pick it up. If I can't sell it, I'll send it into the real reel and make a couple bucks on it. Um, but recently, the pieces I actually picked up at the bins, um, a pair of chambray shorts that were really cute, pleated, high rise, belted, maybe not belted, but really cute. And then like 100% cashmere, really nice sweater. Both sold on eBay. One, the shorts sold for 70 and then the sweater sold for like 85. And this is a very expensive brand, um, but the brand is Lafayette, Lafayette, La I don't even know if I want to say it, Lafayette 148 New York, and I really stay away 100% from their blazers, but this one was very unique. As you can see, it's kind of like sheer, but it's brown and it's all like lace, and I thought it was really nice. Again, pink I think was... 20 or 40% off. I don't know. Maybe 40% off. That, that makes more sense. I think it was 40% off. Anyway, I wasn't going to get it. I was like, mm, maybe, mm, no, mm, maybe. But then I saw that it was actually new with tags. And I don't think that this is a newer piece by any means, which is really the only pieces I think I'd pick up for the most part, or pieces that look really modern from them. Um, but they bought this at Nordstrom. It says originally it was $698. I don't, that's why I think it might be older because if you go on their website, like all their stuff is like a thousand dollars. I think maybe not, but really, really expensive stuff. But I'm excited to try this. If you have this brand and you're not selling it or it's not selling well for you and you don't have it listed on eBay, I would highly suggest cross listing it to eBay. Not that my blazers before I sent them into the real world did any better on there, but I think if you're marking them between like under a hundred, maybe they get better. I don't know. Don't listen to me. <laughs> All right. Now this is my last piece. Um, I've heard of this brand, but I've never sold it before. And this is very simple, cute little, I think it's a dress, like a Royal blue dress. Yeah. Thought it might be a romper, but cute square neckline, still pretty trendy, little mini dress, very cute with pockets, size small. Um, I've never sold this brand, but I feel like I've heard of it. Uh, this wasn't on sale. It was $10, but 
Amanda Uprichard, New York. I quickly looked up comps and they looked pretty good, not for this exact piece, but just for their pieces in general. But look how cute. I have a good feeling about this dress, I don't know. Again, I think this would be a good transition piece between summer and fall, because it is a, like a dark jewel tone, which I feel like is a good keyword to use for your fall pieces if they're jewel tones. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me count how many pieces I got. Why couldn't I have gotten 10 things? Because that would have been so much more easy to divide by. Um, so about $7, I want to say, on average. $67.53 is what I spent for nine pieces. So maybe like $7.50 per item, which is a little bit less <laughs> than the Goodwills where I'm paying about $10 per item, which is still on the high end. I do need to get over to the bins. I'm hoping to go sometime next week. I don't know. Again, it's pretty far away. It's about an hour. Um, and it's just different than my bins, so it makes me just a little bit nervous because, you know, I don't want to break any rules. I want to follow the rules. I don't want people to be mad at me, but also I don't want people to make me mad, so I don't know. I'm just overthinking it, but I do need to go. I love going to the bins to keep my cost of goods down low, but I'm actually really excited about the pieces I found. Uh, I mentioned recently, since I am paying a higher price per item than I would at the bins, I am more looking for pieces that I can sell above 40 or 50 dollars well specifically 50 dollars because after i send out offers or people send me offers i want to be over 40 at the very least but if i can have quick sales that's always nice too um so yeah that's my haul i'd love to know what you guys thought about this uh these i think are my favorite i think these are going to be a really quick nice sale and yeah i hope you guys have a great time sourcing and selling this week and i will see you guys all in my next video Bye.